Will Midnight Pass stay open? That is the question residents and scientists are asking in Sarasota tonight about the inlet that Hurricanes Helene and Milton reopened after 40 years. You can see it right here. And 10 Tampa Bay News reporter Chris Hurst explains what comes next. We've been fighting for it for a long time. After Milton busted Midnight Pass back open. So it's time to come together as a team and really do this. Locals came to dig out sand and make sure it didn't close up. There's a myriad of reasons why the community has been interested in this project. For years, opening the pass has been a priority for Sarasota County. It was about to pay to restore the hundreds year old waterway when Mother Nature stepped in. We are here to give an update about what we are doing to keep it open as Sarasota County government. So one silver lining from the storms. Tonight, researchers told a crowd the pass is now 17 feet deep and growing. As we got more through the dry season, which is when inlets tend to be a little smaller, uh, as we got into the fall, we actually have been seeing a trend where it's gotten bigger. And it's restoring circulation to the bay for the first time since the Army Corps of Engineers closed Midnight Pass. Just the degree of exchange that you're getting, it's much better. The water is, is, is younger, we'll call it, that's not residing and staying there as longer. Next, there may be channel markers installed, talks about wake zones, and the possibility of dredging. We're observing it, we're thinking a lot about it, and we're considering, well, what could we do? What should we do? What might we do going forward? Meantime, they're just grateful this access to the Gulf is here to stay. In Sarasota, Chris Hurst, 10 Tampa Bay News. And the county is warning boaters about some danger with Midnight Pass, advising you not to swim in the pass because of strong rip currents and be mindful of new wildlife like manatees.